Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I just kind of want to showcase one of the quests in Brighter Shores. It's going to be the one-star quest that you get in Chronopolis Episode 4. So, this game has been really, really good about some things and obviously bad about others. One thing I want to say they've been very, very good on is questing. Other than the level requirements that people can sometimes complain about, I think the actual quests themselves are very interesting and they have great puzzles attached to them. So in today's video, I'm going to focus in on a puzzle, um, really an actual puzzle this time, six pieces that you're going to have to put together in this quest, uh, and hopefully it helps you guys out in actually completing this quest. It took me a little bit doing it myself uh, and learning it for the first time. Do note, though, that there is going to be spoilers in this video, so if you don't want spoilers, you know, jump out right now. So the first part of this quest actually has you fight a boss and it was a really cool boss fight and I really hope they integrate some of these boss fights into the actual game after the quest because again I thought this guy looked sweet some of the abilities he did was sweet the only problem is as you'll see as I walk up to it I'm very over leveled um, he's level 35 and that seems to be the common quest boss is around level 35 so keep that in mind um, but if you dodge the abilities, he doesn't do too, too much damage. Obviously, it's hard to tell as, like I said, I'm very over-leveled. Um, so I even just take some of the attacks to kind of showcase them for you and to you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run up through these sewers that you could never have run up to um, prior to this quest, I believe. So let me run through these sewers. By the way, these guys look sweet. I love the way these spectral, uh, what are they called? Spectral strikers or something? Spectral stalkers. Um, I think they look sweet, but... The actual boss, like I said, has some pretty cool mechanics, and I think he looks really, really cool. So let's go up through this middle gate up here, uh, the metal gate with the key. And this, the whole quest is pretty simple up until this boss fight and then the puzzle. So that's why I'm just kind of showcasing these parts. Uh, and I want to call it, kind of talk about bosses in general in this game after this. So deep sewers, we're finally in there, and you're going to see a little cutscene. So we'll let this cutscene play through, and then, of course, I'm just kind of clicking through like usual. But once we get through this cutscene, we are going to pick up the antlers back there, the mirror, and basically everything back there you can pick up. So we are now going to have an attack on the boss of the mage. So I'm actually going to, to grab these items right away for some reason. But um, we turn back around, we go straight for the mage, and you can see some of the abilities that come out. So he has that right here where it casts, and I just stand on it and take 42 damage. By the way, I'm level 73 in the combat in episode four so that's the only reason that didn't absolutely destroy me um and now we have to dodge this big a aoe and we come back in and we start attacking again and i think there could be a lot of cool mechanics around boss fights in the future um just a lot of different kind of movement mechanics for us to do while we're attacking and uh, i'm excited to see what they come up with but yeah again i think this mage is one of the cooler ones it looks pretty sweet um and i really hope they reuse something of this in future with boss fights uh, i really hope there's something like i said where we use some of these quest fights that they have actually done a pretty good job with and they just utilize them in the future but yep pretty cool boss fight you'll actually see here as we have a little um talk with the mirror we go up and grab everything and then we'll switch you guys over to the puzzle real quick so with the puzzle we are actually going to be turning pieces. You'll get six pieces from the other side of the room. Um, and again, this quest is pretty easy besides these parts. So that's the only reason I'm showing you these two parts. The rest of it, you could probably figure out for yourself or somebody else will have a better guide out than I do already. And you can copy those. But I just want to take a look at this puzzle because this took me quite a while by myself um, because I didn't know what the picture was going to be. And maybe there's a way to find out what it was supposed to look like in the beginning. But I finally figured it out, and you can see I'm starting to put pieces in. I'm like, oh, okay, it all clicked. So I finally figured it out, and this is what the end of it's supposed to look like. So take a picture of this so when you get to this quest, or maybe bookmark this video so when you get to this quest, you have a guide for the actual picture itself because that is definitely the hardest part of the quest. Um, and then you're in. And I don't believe there's any level requirements for this, but I'm sure there is. So definitely take a look at, uh, at leveling up your ability, or your skills or your professions in this episode before going on. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Hopefully you guys are continuing to enjoy Brighter Shores, and I'll see you all in the next one.